Now, BNP Paribas is, is a French banking and financial services group. Mm -hmm. Market cap here, 79.1 billion euros, PE of 10.5. Dividend yield looking a little healthier than that Bank of America at 4.3%. So I picked them because they are the largest and I think the best opportunity in Europe. They are not in the UK because we know what's going on there. They are not in Germany where for some reason or another Deutsche Bank's looking wobbly. So this is France, and it's the preeminent player in that banking market. Before we speak to Nesson, let's get the share price up, and there we go. Mm. Again, you can you can see that all the banks are, are moving in tandem, Nesson. Yeah, uh, so, I mean, the, the, the big news uh, for, for BNP was obviously the outcome of the French elections, which we saw about two, two months ago or so, mm -hmm. and I think it was very important for the banking sector because, you know, you had two candidates who were sort well, of diametrically opposed in terms of, <laughs> of policy. As yeah. they would say. Uh, so, I mean, that's been positive for, for, the, for, for BNP. A lot of the European banks represent a huge amount of value. Um, you know, my concern is the dynamics at play in the U.S. are not necessarily at play in, in, in Europe. You know, Europe's ECB is still talking about, you know, contracting some of the, the QE. There's no talk about interest rate increases, which banks are going to need to have. Um, and I think with, with, with European banks, you know, they're so interrelated uh, in and amongst Europe, you know, it's very hard to ascertain the actual exposure, you know, to, to southern European countries, for example, like Greece. Um, so it, I'm, I'm of the view that, you know, the, the recovery we're going to see is probably going to take a bit longer. Well, why did you include BNP Paribas in the conversation? Because there you go, they're also trading at these very low uh, double figure price to earnings ratios, expectations are low. These banks are very well entrenched in these economies. I mean, uh, BNP's got like 30 million customers, multiple branches across Europe. I think as the normalization of the financial environment proceeds, as the ECB sort of steps back from its very intensive management of capital markets because of the Greece disaster and related issues, I think the capital efficiencies improve and the fines decrease. This company paid another 250 million US dollars to the US authorities in the last few weeks in settlement of a claim related to forex manipulation by their US based operations where guys were doing that thing that bankers do, which is exchange messages in chat groups about how they would manipulate the prices of this or that. Let's just have a look at the share price graph again on screen and that will give us a sense of where to from mm. here? Look, we actually talked about them just in the aftermath of the French election, and then we thought of thought that there could be a bigger, bigger, bigger surge, and it hasn't really it hasn't, transpired. It hasn't transpired. So Mr. Macron is clearly much better than anyone else that could have been elected that time around, but it hasn't really flown to the moon. It's still looking somewhat. Cheap. Is there potential for it to fly to the moon? I think there is, but um, I think it's going to be a long wait, <laughs> to, to, to be honest. Lots, of, ha lots, of, lots of things have to happen first. So mm. you are not hot? I'm not hot on this one. Are you hot, Paul? I'm going to go hot and be brave. You know, we're invested in companies like Steinoff and companies like this would benefit from just a general and ongoing... And as you say, it's looking cheap. ...betterment of the European economy. Yes, and it looks dead cheap, so hot for me. We